Okay, so I want to uh, clarify some topics now and make things a little bit more precise than what I've been talking in the previous lectures. So remember already in chapter 6 when we were talking about um, gravitational potential energy, we said that what we are going to call zero, the zero gravitational potential energy is arbitrary. What we really care about is the difference in gravitational potential energy. The same thing applies now for potential, for the thing that we are calling potential. In, in this um, uh, slide here, we are talking about electric potential. Where we are going to say that the electric potential is zero is arbitrary. What we care about is the difference in potential. Okay? So, um, and, and uh, when I was talking about the plates, also, I was saying that uh, we have one that is positively charged and the other one that is negatively charged. Well, it doesn't really matter if one is positive or negative. What we care about is that one is more positive than the other. The one that is more positive is what we call high potential hmm? and the, the, the other one low potential. What is the exact value that I have on each plate? It doesn't matter. What we care is about the change, the difference in potential. The difference in potential is connected with work. Okay? Now, when we are talking about all of these equations of this slide, we found an equation connecting the high potential minus the initial, oh, the high potential minus the low potential with uh, electric field. Yeah? And we said that the uh, electric field, the E, the electric field, is this difference in potential divided by D. That's the equation that we found. So you see that, what is this equation telling us? It's telling us that the potential changes. Now we start here at uh, high potential and we go to low potential. So as we move uh, from left to right, the potential is decreased, is changed. But the electric field, the electric field that is established between these two plates, this is constant. The value of the electric field is constant. It depends only on this difference in potential and on the uh, distance between the two plates. So the electric field is constant. So that's an interesting thing. And, um, and you may say, well, wait, wait a second, when I'm close to this uh, positive uh, side, uh, shouldn't I have a, a, a large electric field? Yes, we have a, a large electric field because of this positive um, uh, side and very low contributions from the negative side, which is so far away. But as we move to the right, the contribution from the uh, positive side will become weaker and the, po uh, the contribution from the low one becomes larger. So you see there is always a compensation so that the magnitude of this electric field is throughout constant between these two plates. Okay, this is one important thing that I wanted to tell you. Now let's move and discuss this idea of potential. Why did we introduce this story? of potential. Why didn't we stick just to the potential energy as we were talking before? This concept of potential is very important because it's um, a concept that depends only on the plates. Okay? Depends only on the plates, not of, uh, it doesn't depend on what we put in between the plates. And uh, to discuss this a little bit more, I'm going to tell you that we could have talked about potential also when we were talking about gravity. And that's what we are going to do now. Okay, so what we are going to discuss is the following. Um, suppose here is the ground, and here is some, we are at a certain height. Um, I'll call it this height H. Okay, and let's think about uh, two um, objects. One is a little one with a little mass, and the other one is like a big rock with a big mass. Okay, and we can talk about the potential energy again. The more precise way to discuss in this is the difference in potential energy, right? So this little particle here, this little object here, has a low potential energy, difference in potential energy, given by mgh. This other one here, which is much bigger, has a bigger potential 
energy, no, uh, difference in potential energy, which is the big M, G, H, okay? So, the potential energy depends on the mass. However, I could talk about potential, potential only, gravitational potential. And what would be the gravitational potential? The gravitational potential would be the same no matter which mass I have. The gravitational potential, and I'm going to indicate this with this V, the change, the difference in gravitational potential would be just GH. So what is this um, difference in uh, potential, gravitational potential? Uh, what does it depend on? Depends only on the height and on G. What determines G? The planet where you are, the mass of the planet. So you see that this is a concept that is independent on the little objects I'm playing with. It depends only on the planet, it depends only on the height. Okay, let's now extend this idea to our two clay. Okay, the potential among uh, between the potential difference between our plates depends only on the plates, depends only on how much charge these plates are. Okay, it does not depend on the charge that I put in between. That's the whole idea, that's the whole purpose of introducing potential. The potential energy, well, the potential energy of this Q is smaller than the potential energy of this two Q. Now it's twice the charge. So the potential energy of this one, this two Q, is twice as large as Q. But the potential difference, now the potential difference between these two plates depends only on the charges on the plates. Yeah, so it does not depend on what we put in between, but it depends only on the plates. So it's independent on the particles that I'm going to play with, established by the plates themselves. Okay, so this is good. Let's uh, stop this video here, and then in the next video, we can solve some problems.